Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover product association using SQL, meaning what products are often sold together. This technique is also known as market basket analysis or affinity grouping. This helps us correlate the events in our data. We will use this method to see what products are often sold together at AdventureWorks. This method is used by Amazon or Netflix to recommend other related products to their customers. However, they use advanced recommendation engines using AI, but the base concept is the same. This is part of the SQL series, and as usual, we'll use AdventureWorks database to carry out this exercise. If you'd like to set up a SQL environment, then watch the initial videos of this series. Nowadays, a lot of e-commerce sites use the product association to recommend products to their customers. Once we know what combination of products are often sold together, we can recommend them and improve company sales by cross-selling. In our case, we, we are using AdventureWorks. So let's say AdventureWorks has an e-commerce store and our customers are purchasing bikes and other equipments for bikes. And we want to know what combination of products are sold together. So we can recommend other related products to our customers uh, while they're visiting our e-commerce store as well as the actual stores. So to code this solution, I am going to use SQL Server Management Studio. We will use the product and fact internet sales table from AdventureWorks database. We will utilize the use statement to select the appropriate database, in this case AdventureWorks. Let's define a common table expression or CTE. This acts like a virtual table that we can reference later in our code. And in this CTE, we'll join the product and the fact table. We begin by specifying the keyword with. This is a reserved keyword and all CTEs begin with it. Then we give this CTE a name. Let's call it order underscore items. This is followed by the as keyword. And within the parentheses, we define our query. Let's go ahead and select the key columns that we need from the fact internet sales table. We select the customer key, order date key, and product key. We have alias the fact table as F, so we can reference the column from it with F dot. And we'll go ahead and select the distinct values of these columns, so we'll use the distinct clause. Here we can also use the group by clause to select the distinct values. And in some cases, group by performs better than the distinct clause. Now we will use the join clause to join the product table to our fact table. And we will use the product key from both tables in the on clause to join these tables. And we will select the English product name from the products table. And let's go ahead and alias the column as product name. Let's go ahead and use the order item CTE in the subsequent select statement. We will alias it as A. And here we select a dot product name and let's do a count to get the number of times a particular product is sold. And since we are using count and aggregate function, we'll need a group by clause on the product name. Let's go ahead and uh, specify an order by. So our results are order by the count in descending order. This gives us a result set of how many times a product is sold. We can see that our top seller is 30 ounces water bottle. However, we want to know what other product is frequently sold with our top selling products. To get the associated product, we will join the order item again. This is referred to as self join and we will alias it this time as B. And we will join this on first customer key, then order date key. And in the select, we will include the product name from the table B. Also, to get the product combination once in our result set, we will put a condition in the where clause, where we say product key of table A is less than product key of table B. This will make sure that our product combination do not appear multiple time in our result set. Okay, let's go ahead and run this query to see the product association. We can see that the 30 ounces water bottle is often sold with mountain bottle cage. We sold this combination roughly 1700 times 
And instead of seeing all the co possible combination in our result set, we can go ahead and limit it to top 10 or top 20. So I'll go ahead and uh, limit it to top 20 with the top clause. These, so these are our most often sold together products. Whenever we sell one, we can recommend the other to our customer to improve cross selling. This is all on product association using SQL. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.